It's the Spurs with the basketball. As we begin the fourth quarter, they have clearly been the better side so far. Jay, that's reflected on the scoreboard. Well, the cardinal rule in the game of sport is whenever you go into the fourth quarter, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You have to play the game with the scoreboard saying 0-0. Zero, zero. And if you can win that game by double digits, then you've done your job in the fourth. To Rudy Gay. Count the basket. He's feeling good. Defense has to get him out of his comfort zone. No doubt about where that one was headed. Memphis with the run. Superman, Dwight Howard. He's 3 of 5, 60% shooting from the field. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. Patty Mills. Here comes the screen. Gets it in the right corner. Has a look. Deep two there, won't go. To Kyle Anderson. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Valanciunas, and he hits. Mills in possession, up five. To Rudy Gay. Five to shoot for San Antonio. Going to launch beyond the arc. Well defended. Tough shot for Patty Mills. Holiday controls the basketball. The deficit now up to five. Trying to cash in. Gets a look. Can't hit. Oh, I see how you're playing this chess match. That's what you keep doing defensively. Keep baiting him and luring him into shooting that jump shot. Exploit it. Now the Grizzlies will use a timeout. That's their first for the final three minutes. That leaves them with one remaining. I know the fans didn't get a chance to hear this during the break, but the coaches are wearing a mic for the broadcast. I heard a lot of arguing inside the huddle. It lets you know that the intensity level is pretty high going into the fourth. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Stepping in for the Grizzlies, number 13. Right, right, right. Short jumper off the mark. Nice follow up on the dunk there. Oh man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Spurs in possession. And that one out of bounds off a spur. Substitution being made in this one. Number 25, and number 77. To Valanchunas. Big pick right there. Cleans it up. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Kyle Anderson. 
Grizzlies with four to shoot. Let's it fly from long range. That's out. Last touch by Justin Holiday. New blood coming in for both sides. Number 20, Josh Jackson. Slipping in for the Spurs. Number 12, Lamarcus Aldridge. DeRozan in a matchup with Jackson. Valanchunas with the rebound. Holiday in possession. The margin standing now at seven. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. Free throws coming up. Ed, as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. Justin Holiday. He's got two shots coming. A career 81% free throw shooter. Misses the first. Good bounce back. Hits the second. It's a one of two trip. To Aldridge. One minute left in the fourth quarter. No good. Oh, it looked like he may have gotten him there. Holiday controls the basketball. The deficit is six to Jackson. To Jaron Jackson. Over to the right side. Josh Jackson has a chance. You talk about forcing things up. Too much pressure that time. There's the whistle and an intentional foul. Just their first in the final two minutes, so no free throws yet. He'll take the ball out of bounds. Good foul right there. You want to stop the clock. And here's the foul. Right now it's a two-possession game, so if he hits one or two of these, it could be all she wrote. Okay, now look over to the sideline and see what the staff is trying to draw up on the next play. That's good clock management thus far. them both whistle and a timeout for memphis that's her second of the final three minutes no more timeouts left the rest of the game Kyle Anderson here against LaMarcus Aldridge. To Valanchunas. Deep left corner. Has a look. Shot by Holiday, no good. It's the Spurs who are victorious as they take care of business at home. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen, saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.
play the roles here. And I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Spurs put together a nice win here today. The scoring display they put on is going to be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. Check out the leading scores for the San Antonio Spurs. The Grizzlies put up a fight, but didn't get their hands raised at the end. And even though some of them smiled and shook hands with the other guys after the game, you could tell by the way they headed to the tunnels how disappointed they were about this loss. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Memphis Grizzlies. Game stats. Player of the game. DeMar DeRozan gets the award for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. Isn't the segment you want to be in? Of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. We have picked them for you. Here are the top plays. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose, and it's been our pleasure to present you with some NBA basketball.